What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, CMKJ, and I'm coming at y'all with another banger video today, man. In today's video, man, as you can see by the title, man, today, I'm going to be showing y'all my new brushes that I got for 2022. Uh, I did a video like this in, like, October of last year. I did, like, the last brushes that I picked up in 2021, but I got five new brushes that I'm going to have in rotation, and I just want to show y'all. Basically, I'm going to be giving y'all a quick rundown on the new brushes I got. Um, you know what I'm saying? Tell me what y'all think about it. If y'all got the same brushes, let me know down in the comment section below. But uh, if you're new to the channel, man, make sure to go subscribe. We almost had 2K subscribers. And I got a big giveaway coming up when I hit 2K subscribers. Uh, click that thumbs up button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, turn on post notifications so you won't miss an upload from here on out. But without further ado, man, let's get into the brushes. So let's get it. All right, so I got two new Torino Pros and three new Royalties. All right, you can get these all these brushes that you see me using. You can get them on BrushKing.org. There's also an app that um they just created or, you know, they just updated. It's called the Brush King app. You can get it on, like, the iTunes Store or the Apple Store. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, I got two new Torino Pros and three new Royalties. So I'm going to start with the Torinos and work my way down from hardest to the softest brush that I just got. And also, I'm not sure about the numbers of these brushes. I know that they have different numbers. I'm not fully sure about them. I know a couple of them, but uh, not all of them. So starting off, man, I got this red Torino Pro right here. Like I said, all the brushes I use are Torino Pros. Hold on, flip it. They are Torino Pros, you see right there. This is a several hard brush. All right, it's red with, um, with black stripes pretty much i'll just call it stripes it's like red with black stripes like i said it's a hard brush i feel like this is really gonna have me um going on this long wolf that i'm going on like i said this is a seven row brush man amazing quality you get the best quality from the torino pros and royalties uh, i'm definitely gonna start using this probably in like a month or two when my hair gets longer i just cut my hair like three weeks ago maybe four weeks ago to three against the grain so my hair is still pretty short uh, i can't even really comb right now but uh, I'm gonna use this hard brush once my hair gets to like a two and a half, three. Once my hair gets really, really thick, then I'll definitely start um, using the harder brushes that I have in my collection. All right, next up for the Torino Pros, man, I got this Torino Pro Medium Hard. All right, this is like a, this is like a navy blue colorway. I'm gonna let it focus. See the Torino Pro, this is a pretty basic colorway, nothing too special about it. Uh, like I said, it's um, like a navy blue with the reinforced bristles. Okay, they're not all um, they're not all black. There's some like lighter bristles in here too. Uh, this is a true medium firm, medium hard brush. All right. I also have a brush that looks very very similar to this brush. I'm gonna show y'all in one second. It's a nine row, and this is also a nine row brush. Um, it's really gonna help with vertical brushing. I'm definitely gonna use this, even though the color is pretty basic on this brush. I really really like it. I'm going to show you how the brush that I have that looks very, very similar to this. It's just a vertical grip brush, and I usually use it to wash my hair. All right, y'all, here is the brush that I'm talking about. This is the brush that I use to wash my hair sometimes. This is a vertical grip. They're both the exact same color, all right, and they're both medium firm, and they're both uh, nine rows, you know what I'm saying? They both got the reinforced bristles with the different colors on them. The only difference is, you know, this has a vertical grip. And also, this is more of like a solid rectangle. This is like... I don't know how to explain it, but y'all can see what I'm talking about. This is more like a regular rectangle. They both pretty much look the same. Like I said, I really like the colorway of this brush. I'm definitely going to be using it in the near future, so let's hop on to the next brush, man. Let's get it. All right, so that's it for the Torino Pro brushes. Now on to the Royalty brushes. I got this brush in a um, giveaway that Brush King was doing, like a Christmas giveaway. He was giving away, I think, like three brushes each week for the last month of December. Um, I ended up winning, so shout out to Brush King for sending me this brush for free. This is a royalty brush, man, and I'm not sure when I'm going to use this. I hear about it cracking. People have to say it cracks. I like the colorway a lot, but the brush is this pretty much see-through. This is a seven-row see-through royalty, man. It looks amazing to me. Um, this is a medium-hard brush with a gold royalty on it. Um, like I said, you can see through it and everything. It looks very, very good to me. I'm going to give y'all a good close-up on the, on the gold royalty. This is an amazing looking brush, man. Now, the only cons about this brush that I hear about, I've never used it, but the only cons about it is I hear, I see people's cracking. Um, they say that it could have been done a little bit better. Um, you know, when people wash their hair with it, this, I guess this is supposed to be a wash brush. But on BK's website, it says that you're not supposed to wash with it. This is just be used for dry brushing. 
At the same time, I um, somebody named George Tease. He even said he told me he'd been washing with this for two years, and the brush hasn't like cracked like in half or anything. So, but yeah, like I said, this brush looks amazing. I really like this brush. I might try to wash with it every once in a while or brush with it in my sessions. But um, overall, this is an amazing looking brush. Um, let me know if you cop this before it sold out. All right, that's it for the third brush. Now on to the last and final two brushes, man. All right, for the second to last brush, man, this is also a royalty. Both of these last two brushes are seven row brushes. Um, this brush right here is a medium firm. Here it is right here. As y'all can see, you got that, that OG wood colorway. It just looks amazing with the black, um, black shades. Uh, like I said, it's a seven row brush, medium firm, with the gold royalty right there. All right, this is a beautiful, beautiful brush, man. It looks like an OG brush, but it's like the Royalty 732. I believe this is the Royalty 732. And I picked this brush up off of Amazon for like $10. You know, they had a couple left in stock, so I just decided to get it. Um, like I said, it's an amazing brush, a uh, medium firm. Um, it's not a true medium and it's not a medium hard, you know, it's right in the middle. And this is really gonna come handy like right before you get into your heavy, heavy wolf stages. I got a couple brushes that are like this and I feel like this will really help me because those brushes are getting old. One of my guys, like, I got in like 2019, so I'm definitely, I definitely had to re-up and get a new one. Um, OG colorway, I really like the colorway a lot. It's pretty basic, but at the end of the day, you know, I like it, it looks good to me. And I'ma just hop straight into the last and final brush, man. It's also a mahogany brush, and this is the Royalty 724. And here it is right here. All right, it's also a seven row brush, Royalty Gold. You know what I'm saying? You already know. Uh, these do kind of differ in color. Uh, this one is a little bit darker. Maybe this is the mahogany one, and this one is just like brown. I'm not sure, but um, here it is right here. Apparently, this is like I think they call this the Diane 8119 killer. If you if you know OG brushes, you know what I'm talking about. Like they say this is like a killer. Um basically like a remodel of an OG brush that everybody used to use back in the day. Uh, you see the lines in the back. I don't have too much to say on these brushes, but they do look very, very good. Uh this is actually um this is actually a little bit softer than this one. Uh this one is softer. Uh, so I'll say this is closer to a true medium, but at the same time, it's a, a tad, tad bit firmer than a true medium brush. Um, overall, though, I do really like how these brushes look. Uh, seven row brushes and nine row brushes are my favorites, so you know how to cop. And I'm pretty much done with buying brushes until like next year, man, because I have so many brushes that I have not used yet. I got like a whole 12 brushes, including wash brushes that I have not even touched, have not touched my hair or anything like that. So I got these, you know, they're gonna keep me motivated to keep waving, you know, when you have new things that you're having to use, you know, you wanna use them. So these are definitely gonna keep me motivated, man. Stay brushing, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do my brush session videos coming back soon. So yeah, that's all the brushes that I had, just to give y'all a quick rundown again. I had this red um, Hard Torino Pro um, seven row brush. I got this nine row Torino Pro medium hard brush, okay. I got this um I got this clear seven row royalty medium hard brush. I got this OG um I'm just calling this brown with the gold royalty seven row. This is a medium firm, almost like a medium hard, but not quite. Last but not least, you got this Royalty 724. All right, OG Mahogany colorway. Apparently it's the 8119 killer. And let me know if you were able to cop any of these brushes or if you already had any in your collection down in the comment section below. But uh, that's all I have for y'all today. I appreciate y'all for clicking the video. If you stayed to the end, man, uh, make sure you go leave a like if you haven't already. I appreciate every single last one of y'all, but I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace out.